Hello, my name is Pavel and I'm co-founder and CTO here at Energy. And today I would like to cover what you need to know about metering technology. Now, why are we talking about this? Lately, there's been a lot of hype about solutions that are quick to install or that don't require any installation at all. And that's very confusing because while some of these low-touch solutions are feasible, it really does come down to the type of building you have and what metering infrastructure you have in place. But why are we talking about this? What's the goal? For this video, we're assuming that your goal is to get to a digital metering infrastructure, meaning a setup where meters can transmit data in real time to streamline your billing operations. Now, there are other uses for digitizing metering infrastructure, but today we're focusing specifically on tenant billing and meters with revenue grade accuracy. Quick heads up, please check your local laws and municipal regulations in regards to submetering requirements and the differences between commercial tenant and residential tenant submetering. So let's talk about the how. The first step is to figure out what you currently have in place. I've made a quick flowchart to help you understand the best path to that digital metering infrastructure. So first, you need to determine whether the meters that you have are digital or analog. If your meters look like this, these are analog meters and we'll talk about them towards the end of the video. Now, if your existing meters are digital, the main thing to determine is whether or not they have a machine readable output. If they do, it could be sending data over an open protocol, uh, such as Modbus, BACnet, or even a simple thing like a Pulse output. Or it could use a proprietary protocol. Let's look first at the open protocol meters. Here are some examples. This is a branch circuit meter, and these are examples of panel-mounted meters. Regardless of the particular model, the main thing to look for are ports that look like this, or like this. If your existing meters have one of those, it's very likely that you will be able to collect data from them digitally and that your building is ready for things like mesh networks and bridges, which make it very easy for submetering companies like Enertiv to come in, collect the data, and send it to the cloud immediately. Now, your submetering provider will also install some communications hardware to get the data from the metering infrastructure into their cloud. And I would very quickly like to show you what it looks like. Now, depending on your building layout, uh, the most cost-effective setup could either be wired with gateways that collect data that look like this, or wireless using bridges and hubs, which are commonly available from many manufacturers and look like this or this. And then, of course, in the best case scenario, if your meters have a built-in servers, that can send data directly to the cloud, you can use commonly available cellular gateways that look like this. Now let's talk about the proprietary protocol meters. Uh, here are some examples. Your submetering provider would need to have an established contract with the meter manufacturer that lets them access this data. That is why we recommend open protocol meters for new infrastructure when we're consulted on new construction. For more on that, please check out our blog post, How to Avoid the Tenant Submittering Death Trap. Now, let's talk about the meters without an output and what we can do there. The next thing to determine is whether or not they are upgradable. If they are, and here is an example of that meter, you can see with this particular model, it indicates all the different options that can be installed. And here is an example of an option card that enables a digital output for this meter. If you have one of those, it does make sense to spend the money and do the upgrade. But what if you don't? What if you have a digital meter that does not have an output and is not upgradable? Here is an example. These are commonly found in residential environments. In this case, similar to the analog meter infrastructure, 
or in some cases of the proprietary um, protocol metering infrastructure, we do recommend replacements. There are options to streamline manual readings using software to help you with the process of collecting this data and we will address that in another video. Clearly there are lots of options to get to that digital metering infrastructure. Let us do the hard work for you. Call and we will be happy to help. Thank you and I hope you have a good day.